Coming up in this episode of the Meme Pat News Show, I will explain a few small changes to the channel. I will reveal my theme park plans for this year, and I will give you, in my opinion, the three best coasters opening this year. It's Friday, the 13th. So welcome to the Meme Pat News Show and to start off I'm going to tell you the changes coming to the channel. So straight to the point, we've got a new banner, a new logo and a new name. Uh, I'm changing it now because it's a new year so it's a fresh start. Try and give the channel a better image. So the name we've gone for is DJB Coasters and as you can see it's still got the DJB KR in it adds some context to it because that could literally mean anything. It also seemed pretty difficult to say. DJB Coasters has got a better ring, it's easier to say, but DJBKR, the old channel name, wasn't that easy. DJBKR. Surprisingly, I didn't sit on my keyboard when I made that name. It's actually to do with my initials. DJB is my initials and that will remain in the new channel name. Name reveal when we overtake PewDiePie. So as you can see, Roller Coasters and Theme Parks is going to be the main audience of the channel now. Uh, some of the OG members may have realised that we did play FIFA on this channel and I think that's come to an end now. The FIFA videos didn't get as much attention as the Roller Coaster videos did, so yeah, 2020, goodbye FIFA. So I recently asked you what your New Year's resolutions were and nobody re replied. Except no, somebody did reply and that somebody was Thought Park. Guys, the day has finally come. This is confirmed, I don't believe it. And we also got a reply from Sean Sambrook. Wait, you don't mean- Shambala! Global domination, please Sean, no! <laughs> so then, my theme park plans for 2020. So there's a lot of small trips which I have planned but not finalised. For example, a trip to my home park, Flamingo Land, but what I can reveal is the five parks that I'm going to in the summer and I'm really excited to share this to you. So it's sort of a road trip that I will do with my family and yeah, there's lots of theme parks involved and I'm really excited. So let's get into the first park. The first park is Fantasyland and I'm so excited for this. This is definitely one of the best theme parks in the world. It's got such good theming all across and also some great coasters. Can't forget Taran and Black Mamba. And for the year I go, hopefully, well, obviously this year, 2020, hopefully Fly will be open, the new next generation Vekoma flying coaster. And that's got two launches in, it looks phenomenal. So fingers crossed that will be open when I go. But this just looks such a great park and I can't wait. The second park is Holiday Park. And this is quite a small theme park, although it does happen to be home to one of the best roller coasters in the world, Expedition G-Force. This thing looks incredible, could easily be my number one. Just got so much airtime. It's also got Sky Scream at the same park, which looks fun. I've never been on a roller coaster of the Sky Rocket 2 model, I think. I've never been on one of those before, so that'll be a cool new credit to get. But Expedition GeForce is the main reason I'm coming here, and it just looks insane, to be honest. No other way of putting it. So next up is a park which I was actually considering not to visit. But after recent news, I know it is. Tripstreel have announced a expansion and it will include two new roller coasters. And one of those is a Vekoma suspended coaster, the modern model. So I think it'll be the first of its kind. It looks amazing. And they've already got Karaho, which looks like a brilliant roller coaster at the same park. So this park looks to have a great atmosphere and I can't wait to go here as well. So I've already been to River Park, but I am going back because it's just such a special place. Probably one of the best theme parks in the world. Well, yeah, it definitely is. The theme in here is incredible. It may be lacking a top, top coaster, but it does have a very wide selection of rides. And I think it just, just an amazing place. And there's quite a lot of credits, which I still haven't got. So I'll go back, get some new credits and yeah, I can't wait to visit this place as well. 
So you may have noticed that all the roller coasters here were in fact in Germany. However, the fifth and final theme park on my trip is in France. So I will be staying at Lake Annecy for quite a few days and then I'll come here as a day trip. So I think it's about an hour's drive away and they've got some good coasters. They've got Mystic which recently opened and also Timber, a wooden roller coaster. So it looks like a really cool place and some nice unique roller coasters. So those are my theme park plans for summer 2020 and although I don't know an exact date it will be around the beginning of August so yeah stay tuned I'll hopefully be able to make some cool vlogs on those theme parks that I visit so keep an eye out for that. So as I said I would at the start of the video I'm now going to tell you my three favourite roller coasters that are opening this year. To begin we've got a roller coaster at Fantasyland which I will be visiting this summer and that roller coaster is Fly. So similar to Taron this will have incredible theming no doubt about that it's a steampunk theme so Fantasyland can make this look awesome but the roller coaster itself looks like a really long ride, two launches, it's got airtime, it's got inversions, it's got a dark ride section at the start so it looks amazing. These roller coasters aren't in any order because I've not ridden them so I can't really judge them that closely but the second one I'm going to talk about is Iron Quasi at Busch Gardens Tampa. Now I have been to Busch Gardens Tampa but obviously this wouldn't have been around but the ride itself, 206 feet tall, slightly taller than Steel Vengeance, it's got a 91 degree drop so it's beyond vertical so this could be amazing and obviously RMC, one of the best roller coaster manufacturing companies around see what they've done with other rides this is going to be just the same also coming from RMC is the Jersey Devil Coaster opening at Six Flags Great Adventure in 2020 this is a single rail roller coaster and riders will only sit in rows of one seat so it looks to have some great airtime, some very whippy moments and yeah this looks very special obviously coming from RMC as well if it's anything like Untamed which is the only RMC I've ridden it'll be a very good ride so clearly this is a ride to look out for opening in 2020 so that's the end of the video and as you can see I'm really excited for what 2020 has on offer and I hope you guys also have brilliant years so yeah thank you so much for watching hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>